Bonsoir. Hello everyone. Um, I am just going to try and do all the techie bits. Hi everyone. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Um, Oops. hello. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Laura. Um, Hi. I just uh, put every everything on a little bit early, so we're well, we are live, but um, I just thought oh. I'd just. Hi, how are you today? Oh, I'm great. Yeah. <laughs> You put my backdrop to shame. I was like yesterday, I just looked at your backdrop and I was like, okay, both you and I are both on renovations and we just moved in. So I have no excuse. If you can do it, I can do it. Oh, no. <laughs> I literally pulled together something. Milk and mirrors, just, you know, a painting I brought. It weighs like a pound, even though it's really big. It's stunning. The colors are beautiful. Oh, it's from China. It is. People get... Oh, my angry about that because well, I'm taking no I think it's stunning starving artists and you know locally but it's okay well uh, that's well I have I have also uh, an Aboriginal painting so it's um, we're also supporting artists I think that's important to say yeah it matter where in the world they are yeah right? no Oh, I think we can appreciate beauty in all its times but anyway we are getting to 7 p.m. So it's 2 p.m. in Boston. Is that yeah. right? What kind of day is it? Yes, it's 2 p.m. <laughs> is Morning. it a sunny day? We, had, actually, we actually had sun today in London. So No, it is raining again. Oh. Um, but it's supposed to stop very soon. So, yeah, it'll be okay. <laughs> ah, love it. Well, we do have a few people on here. We've got about 40 people on here. So should we get started? I was like, sure. ah! <laughs> I'm so glad we met yesterday because I like totally got like all of my fan galley out of my system. So I'm like, I can handle it today. I can do this. <laughs> for everyone, for everyone else, I'm so excited to be interviewing the amazing Laurel Byrne. So um, she's the OG, like original gangster blogger. Uh, this is like amazing. So I've been following you for so long. I just, yeah. Um, I'm blown away that you even said yes to this. So I'm really, really grateful. <laughs> I think, but I think it's kind of funny because I have been following you for so long. And you know, when with bloggers and anyone on social media, I think the funny thing is that I feel like we've been best friends for years. And <laughs> it's almost totally creepy that I know so much about you. And I think that's what happens when you become this social, um, when, when, with blogging, right? Or with blogging yeah. or with social media people get to really see inside your life. And I think, firstly, I'm grateful you didn't make me feel really, really weird yesterday when I was just like, oh my gosh, I am literally talking to the Laurel, the Laurel Burn. I was like, wow. But um, I think that just shows how lovely you are and that you did make me totally awkward. <laughs> so I was like, yay, thank you. But for everyone else, if you haven't heard of the amazing Laurel or read her blog, yet where have you been <laughs> well the thing is is like everything i search it's kind of funny because everything i search online i mean i mean i was i was going to give you a plug later but you know i read these books all the time and then i'm like i just literally throw them aside and i'm like i'll just search on laurel sites it's so much easier <laughs> literally it's just so much easier it's and because it's digital you just literally type it in it comes up on your site i was like thank you laurel you just write it so beautifully and so eloquently and it's just not dull and boring so i'm like absolutely obsessed so instead of even books these days if you're actually using interior design books don't bother just go to laurel's site <laughs> it's <Yeah>. nuts but <laughs> well this is this is how brilliant it is but if you haven't heard of Laurel, she really is an award-winning interior designer and blogger now who, I think it was after 21 years, you literally packed up and said, I'm going to start blogging. And this, I think, gosh, you started, you know, stopped stopping taking on full-time clients and then went blogging full-time, which I think is 
it's really like it takes a lot of confidence to do something like that and i think if it's okay with you um maybe we could start with um like the most uh like how scary it really is to do something like that um so i suppose what what I'm trying to say is that a lot of our followers are people who would be um, people who are considering changing careers, either from another career into interiors, and you changed from interiors into full-time blogging. And this takes a lot. I mean, it's, it's very scary. And especially once you've been doing it tw for 21 years, it can be one of those things that you just think, I'm, you know, you know, I'm past it. You know, like, why would I try and do this now? And you, you've got your hands to grip over all of the tech like the technology the seo the i mean there was a lot of complex stuff that you learnt, and um i don't know how early you learnt photoshop but every time you photoshop something it, it cracks me up it's so fantastic <laughs> did you learn photoshop as well was that <laughs> i don't use photoshop i i started using kick monkey kick monkey oh, oh, Twenty four fourteen. It was twenty four, um, um, and I never. I'm very very bad at reading instructions. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I mean, it's I. So I just fiddled around with it. It's not. It's it's pretty intuitive. They've changed uh, the platform around, but um, I never learned Photoshop. I think I do pay a little bit every month for it. I don't even know. <laughs> Oh, they're charging me 500 a month no no no, no. well yeah <laughs> it's one of those things they all add up don't they like as soon as and, actually and i never learned a proper uh program for you know rendering doing 3d designs or any i probably still put them in pick monkey to uh, make them look a little more rendered as opposed to computer generated i i, I just find those drawings to look a little personally but um you know it wasn't scary uh changing over it, it was well for me I, i'm not the best business person i'm really not um and, no i'm not um <laughs> no i i i mean i think you know i had clients that kept coming back for more business i mean most of them um, but I moved, I left my marriage of 20 something years back at the end of 2012. And six months later, I realized my phone wasn't ringing, but I had started a blog, but nothing was happening with it because I had no idea what I was doing. Mm -hmm. The only thing I knew was that it was supposed to be a self-hosted WordPress, did that. Um, opened up a little online shop because I thought that would just be so cool. Um, that was a big mistake because I didn't have anybody reading, so I didn't have any customers. So, and I spent thousands making this tremendous mistake. Um, but the phone wasn't ringing. I had a couple of nice jobs, but they were winding down and I needed to support myself. Oh, so I thought, nobody's um, I think I found myself on page 10 I think if I put my name in I found myself on page three in a Google search I, like I put my name in <laughs> your own name and I, it was like page three number one you know right mm. that's all the other Laurel Burns in the world <laughs> um, anyway so I, um, I, I I don't know how I got on this woman's email list Eileen Lonergan and sounded like she knew what she was talking about and um she did she really did and she she became a dear friend and a mentor even though she didn't realize that she really was i i admired her immensely i say that in the past as tragically she passed away um in 2018 i was well established by then but um i was devastated she had cancer and it, back aggressively and it, it it just she's the loveliest loveliest woman in fact a lot of my colleagues uh used her also for um you know web help and uh she just was very no nonsense really inspired me because i 
she was doing really well and I wasn't. I mean, nobody was reading the blog. Um, and, and so after she got sorted out, I, um, I found out my best friend was dying. I mean, oh my God. it's like, all at once. Yeah. yeah. Well, Eileen was fine that well, she re really wasn't fine, but mm -hmm. we didn't know that at that time. Um, but my best friend had stage four lung cancer, my very, very my BFF, you know, and, um, I was devastated. Um, and, um, but and also it had been a year since going to be going on a year since I had left my marriage, and I just felt like oh my god I'm such a loser <laughs> you know nothing's happening something has to change here. Um, the shop is a long story, but the shop died. We'll just say it died. Mm -hmm. it, it died. My whole site exploded one day when we were fixing it. They were fixing it. See, but a higher there's always a higher level. No, no matter who your geek is, they they have a geek and they have a geek until I don't know what happens. But um, you just can't even talk to them anymore. No. Um, so um, my site blew up, and I was devastated about my best friend. And I just started blogging regularly. I made a couple of really dumb videos that were just slide videos of my portfolio. They're still they're on YouTube. Um, I, I guess, no, yeah, no. I mean, there's, you know, I don't know if that made a difference, um, but the blogging every other day absolutely did. And after five weeks, my page views tripled. They tripled. Now, don't get excited. They went like from 25 page views to 75. So it's not like I had. 7,000 a day or something like that. No, it was still very low. Um, but it really spurred me on. I, I have always only been in competition with myself. Yeah. 98% or so. <laughs> I think a lot of people are, well, a lot of the people that I know and a lot of people who, um, I, I suppose, even follow me and do my courses, they are really high achieving people. I think this is something that all of us, a lot of interior designers, I think, or people who are inclined to be designers do have that personality trait. I think it also is a perfectionist trait as well. High achieving? No, actually that's not me. Uh, that's not me at all. I, I'm not. And yet you do, I, I, which is cool. Oh, it sounds, um, it looks, I should say, looks very different. Money is a huge motivator <laughs> that keeps me right on schedule um so if i apologize for being late no i'm no it's of course i'm sorry if, if i'm late or if i haven't produced something that people enjoy um but um uh, like i say no show no dough yeah and, and this is my livelihood um some people don't understand that they just you know it's i try not to be too obvious about it it's a it's a um it's a fine line yeah. maybe not so fine well it uh, is it's a little it's a business isn't it that's the whole reason like we do need to make money as designers or even as bloggers yeah. but it's it's not a dirty word money is not dirty it's just that you're swapping a service and we need to be paid for what we do as designers and i think it's actually quite beautiful to be in a position where you can do something you absolutely love and whether that's blogging or interiors it's it's actually quite joyful and i know a lot of people would say that being a parent is the best job on the planet and uh, i agree i love that job but i wouldn't say it's the best job <laughs> i say 90 percent of it isn't fun but um uh yeah I, I, I don't think there's anything wrong at all um being motivated by the fact that um it, it is a success and that you bring so much joy and actually so much wisdom to a lot of people. I think the way that you write your blog is so witty and fun. And I think what I really love is that it's just so accessible for people like me who, I mean, I've been reading this for years and years and years. So even when I was, um, you know, I think actually now that I've just calculated it, I think I was reading a blog before I even started my own business. So I think that is, you know, it just goes to show.
how long and how consistently you've done this and how um, inspiring it is to see that somebody has kept at it for this long and you know you really deserve that success so um, it's not just like oh well, yeah I fell into it and overnight you became a success you really worked so hard and you know I've, I think the, what you said there five weeks you've kept on writing and writing and writing for five weeks and then you start to get traction I think that's really key because most people give up after one post on Instagram or they give up after one blog post and then they think there's no traffic well you wrote how many what twice a day for five yeah, weeks it was every other day I was writing every day I was publishing every other day and um, separate topics I mean I cringe I've taken many of them down you can't just Oh my gosh, my first blog was just, it was humiliating. I had to get oh, rid of it. Oh, I've had one post where I had the, the inside contents of my vacuum cleaner on a paper. <laughs> really? Actually, that's brilliant. That's very nice. And how much crap was in my vacuum cleaner after, you know, like one week. <laughs> what is this? Actually, um, good point. Huge, huge mound of gray stuff. What is this? They say it's mostly skin. Like, really? It's me? I, how much am I showing? <laughs> well, I'm a total germaphobe, so yeah, that would just totally, I would actually be really interested in that. That's just like, love it. There's, have you ever seen, I think it's Aggie, Kim and Aggie? Have you ever seen that? It's just very British. It's like they just go around cleaning dirt, like dirty houses. It's just off the hip. Like, I absolutely love it. I haven't watched it in years, actually, but Kim and Aggie, write it down. <laughs> you love it. <laughs> yeah. So um, after um, after that happened, the um, every other day of blogging, I mean, that went on for several months, but the readership kept growing. And then I had other mentors, and um, one of them is a guy named John Morrow, who is known for headline hacks, mm -hmm. which is uh, where I learned to write compelling headlines or try to. They also have to be... A, short or else you get a good that's my that you know what i can't it's it's like i think it's an actual disability i cannot write a short headline i just can't if you've the, read any of my posts it's just like i just can't do it in the beginning <laughs> it's a genetic flaw it took me sometimes as much as two hours to come up with a headline i didn't do a b testing and all that i just came up with it if it was a dud it was a dud and you know but overall kept growing, I learned that I needed to cultivate a mail list. When I say cultivate, it has to be opt-in only 100%, do never, ever, 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 ever uh, purchase a list. People do this, of course. Um, it's actually illegal. illegal. I think it is here um, too, yeah. Mm. Mm, it is. It's illegal, but it's, I even, it doesn't stop people. I didn't realize that was a thing. I mean, I'm kind of embarrassed well, that I didn't know that, but that's really... Well, the worst thing that'll probably happen, I mean, you're not going to get, like, sued or something like that. Not for that. Um, but um, your email provider, your bulk email provider, I was with MailChimp for, for a long time. I'm not anymore, but... Mm -hmm. Um, I had a friend and she was really, she's a very sweet woman and um, I guess she just didn't know she bought some followers and MailChimp dropped her. Like, like your account is closed. Yeah. You can't do that. Well, rightfully so, but at the same time, some people just don't know. It's, it's, yeah, because um... they get a lot of spam complaints. Mm -hmm. I get spam complaints too, and it really makes me crazy because when you opt in to an email, you're expecting it. Spam is email you're not expecting. Yeah. And don't want. It's fine if they don't want it, but they, or I, I trust nobody had a gun to their head. Like, you have to subscribe to Laurel's <laughs> blog, I'm going to blow your brains out. No. Um, but they still, sometimes instead of unsubscribing, they just send they um. spam, spam or but more often what happens is their email server it's a little complicated yeah the, says, says, like email hmm. i mean i think mine is currently like my actual not the school email but um my email for my business uh, for my interiors and architecture business i cannot write to gmail i, I just cannot my um my email is banned i'm like 
that is lit like I've never sent out um, any uh, like it's yeah. never been a mailing list email. I'm just literally banned. So I, oh, well, I just I can't even write to Darius. I'm from research because what happened was I my old address in New York from oh, it'll be three years and it, it'll be there ten years from now, twenty years from now. It, you know, Google has a very long memory. You know, um, so I was trying to change my address, and it wanted me to put my phone number in. Well, I don't want my phone number. Mm -hmm. it, 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 anybody who wants my address, my phone number, how much I weigh, how much I make, they'll find, find it. They'll find it. It's, it's very easy. You know, the, whatever. It, there's a, a lot of stuff that's on public record. There's no such thing as privacy on yeah. the internet. That's a fallacy. Well, that's the first thing we do in one of my programs is uh, we literally search ourselves just to see what comes up because yeah. I think it's really scary when you think, is that really what is coming up when you search my name? It's, I think I remember the first time I did it and there was someone with the same name as me. Um, this was my former name. And she really liked to not wear a lot of clothes. <laughs> so it was kind of like, oh, that was part i didn't it wasn't the whole decision to change my name to my my husband's name but um it it definitely was a it, if i wanted to run a business i didn't want anything to do with that person it was kind of really weird that it it did make a decision um based on what i was searching and what would come up when people search that so how do you pronounce your last name ah uh, it's Krobak. it's actually polish so um it's funny because it's in polish it's Krobak. But yeah. I don't say cry back. <laughs> yeah, no, no one needs yeah. to know that. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, no. Bad. Same as Australians, we're like, like, I don't think so. It's crow back. So crow back. just like, I always think it sounds like a, a band, like the crow backs. Yeah, That's really good. They always say the k sound in a name is, um, it's good. It's good for marketing. Really? Um, yeah, the woman who spell thanks. <laughs> had that kind of took that information of course she's a billionaire now um, oh, yeah <laughs> wow so tell me what do you think makes people come back to a blog <laughs> <laughs> okay uh i i am of uh, i think um there's always not always but occasionally Laurel does something a little outrageous um, or a little a surprise. Um, I'm known to take a, a beautiful oil painting from the 19th or 18th or 17th, whatever century, and put my face on it. <laughs> that always makes my day. I, I, um, it started out the first time I did it was with a, a caryatid, a statue. You know, I thought oh, this would be so fun. They were so serious, you know, holding up a building. And I wasn't very good at it then, and I've gotten a lot better. At, but I think that's half the beauty, though. I think the fact that you don't take it so seriously that it has to actually be. I think I think the a little bit of rough around the edges. Yeah, is I actually like it. I, I love that that sense of humor. Yeah, so um, I, I do that, but you never know. I mean, it could be six months or a year, and then all of a sudden, uh, one time, the most outrageous one I did. I put my face on Michelangelo's David. <laughs> and then I thought, you know, Laurel, there you are, a woman of a certain age. <laughs> really, of a certain age. And um, there you are on the statue of this boy uh, and all his little bit parts. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's fantastic. And that, did I, so did, what did your writers or your that, readers Well, say? no, I thought I can't put that on the internet that's crazy i mean people will i mean there's there's out there which i think is good and then there's really out there so what can i put in front of those uh male parts his young manhood <laughs> and what did you do I, i've got it a t square how perfect <laughs> so i put a square in how did i not see this and um right in front of what you're not supposed to see and um 
I had a boyfriend briefly and I showed him that and I could see that, well, he was a mistake, but that was a mistake because actually that was my cue to leave because it is funny, have a sense of humor. You know, it's like, I don't really think that I'm an adolescent uh, boy, young man, whatever. Um, I, I know what I am. It's a joke. I was taking on cows. I think, yeah. You know, like, you know, David and Goliath's house, you get it. And um, with a T square in hand and a slingshot. Um, because, and I don't, I don't know. It's not that I said anything bad about it. I just said what was going on. Yeah. This is what's going on. This is what's happening. This is what's on their website. Oh, absolutely. No, because I, I think I remember reading all of that. And it was about five years ago, or maybe six years yes. ago now. Maybe, or maybe four. March 2018. So. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, no, I remember that whole, yes, it was, yeah, very much so. Yeah, mm. I don't. Well, we were, even over here, we were. Yeah. Was it when House and Ivy joined? Was it? It was around that same time. It, when they yeah. joined, mm -hmm. and a lot of there was a lot of I, I wasn't. I had people that were, I should say, helping me uh, get the word out because they knew that I had a lot of readers, and it really was just to let them know that the interior design community wasn't too happy about what was going on yeah. because they really. Like, You're a loud voice, weren't you? Which is pretty cool yeah. that you have guts to do that and that you didn't take yourself so seriously that you could say that. So I still had an account with House. I never used it. I was actually, I had, I had, had it for years, long before anybody even heard of them. So, and people were saying, you know, you couldn't, they wouldn't let you, you know, um, delete your account. They just wouldn't let you. Well, after that came out, they were very fast to let me go. Oh, really? Oh, That's yeah. Too it was gone. But then I realized, oh, I need a, another. So I used my business email address and I just opened up one just, you know, for actually, for I, I do like what was the old garden web. Sometimes when I'm doing research, I come across some great um, forums on there. Very interesting. And I've learned a lot. That That's the one good part mm. of house will say but they, they were and they still are they're using people I bought I guess to sell merchandise from photos and Pinterest does it too unfortunately um, well the, funnily enough if you search interior designer in any place the first thing that comes up is house yeah um, often mm. oh, yeah I would you know, can't look so all of our all of our content is helping them become yeah. Google right. well yeah. they were, were doing the work the most egregious thing they were doing is they were make you know people thought oh I have to put the, my hat my badge has best of house best of house mm. when you put that badge on your site what we're backlinking you are backlinking but they yeah. millions of people are backlinking to house yeah here. Millions of and giving them Google juice, I call it, and but they weren't linking. I'm using that Google juice. They, they weren't linking back. The link back to your website is a broken back, back link. Uh, what do they call it? It's called a no follow. No follow. That's no, right. pretty easy to understand. Mm. That means it's telling Google, don't pay any attention to this link. It's not important. That right there but there were so many other things and mm -hmm. vendors wild you know divergence in prices for the same piece of furniture uh, merchants who were using like henradon's photos yeah. for their own device. it wasn't henradon they they were marketing it as their own i don't even know and it was, this was a real so there mm. were well, and it, the markups were horrendous. I think that was the other thing for me. Sometimes, mm. yeah. Now, occasionally, I find something. I could only find it on up, and I'm pretty good. I, I, go, I just can't buy it from them. You know, <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know the light fixture or something. But somebody else was at this. Full on. I couldn't. Uh, so, did you find that you started writing things like content that your followers? were wanting or was it the other way around did you were you already just writing things that people were interested in or was it 
like you would like for example like this house topic was it something that you were already interested in and people were interested in it or did you curate curate content that was the other way around like for your find it readers in the earlier days or even after i started getting a little bit of traction mm -hmm. one time i put out like hey what do you guys want to read about yeah Rick. now i get a lot of answers and i i appreciate uh, i'm very accessible because i sell you know these digital products like, yeah you know um i'm very proud of all five of them yeah, absolutely children. fantastic <laughs> oh thank you well i plan um, for christmas um i've already got two on my list so i'll get a bundle so i might actually i might just get them all the rest of the ones that i don't have sometimes. so that's my christmas present <laughs> we'll get them just to throw money at me which i very much appreciate <laughs> that cheers thank you well you're nuts if you don't get them like they're better than any book better than anything you're going to find on the internet it's really i mean oh, when someone sees how much effort you put into not only a blog post i mean that it's yeah it's a no-brainer well i i love i haven't taken your course but i've i loved what i've read about it that you're like they don't teach you in interior design school which is really <laughs> about 90 percent of what you need to know well this is why i love your blog because yeah. you actually go into the things that you actually right. the problems that you're and i think this is how i found you i was searching a problem that i had and you came up because you were actually writing about the topics that i was interested in and i think this is where it's really key um like it really well first of your seo is spot on um but that is because you know what you're doing and i think that really is key but also the content is well written and researched as well i think it's not just i think that's my frustration these days more so because there's so much junk like space junk on the internet these days it's not accurate information no what i love about yours is it's researched it's accurate and then when there's an alternative you make that clear and i really like that clarity because that is where I suppose this is my whole, like my living in existence is I just want people to have the correct information. And I yes. think that's where I just get so frustrated. Although I have to say, sometimes I'll read something that I wrote five years ago and I went, hmm, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I, I like it's a gospel thing. Know, <laughs> I've become a much better, I love it. I love your character on Instagram. Your, Thank you. Anna. interior designer oh yeah i know it's just it's funny because i can't do her unless i'm dressed as her it's it's a bit crazy like i just i can't i know no it's weird. i just I, I know i'm going off on a different but it's it, you are so good it really it doesn't look like you i mean it she doesn't i mean she looks vaguely like you but you somehow make everything the shape of your face <laughs> looks different how do you do that? I mean, she's, yeah she's, she's much more angular and hard than you she, she's uh, all of the she's all of my anger and all of those bad experiences all in one i think no, what? That's great. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, is not everyone gets the joke or the humor i think that is kind of where i love your blog because I, I love the sense of humor that comes out just so it seems so effortless, but tell me, is it effortless or do you actually try? Like, is your personality what you think people come back for or that, is it? That I have to say is effortless. I am. People say, oh, I feel like I've just went out and had coffee with you. Yeah. Uh, that is exactly what's going on at that. I'm just talking like to you, like we're talking right now and it's coming out and I do edit and I, and I, I use, uh, grammarly which sometimes doesn't work but it's better than it tells me where to put all the commas and take those out and put those in like really okay whatever um and um it's surprising how those things but actually I matter it. i do go back i do i do go oh you can't say that Laura. you can't say that or cut that whole bit out <laughs> no 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 all right that sounds so self-aggrandizing you can't say that it's just you know you just sound I guess not. Um, and sometimes I still do. I, I you know, some. But some we things, love it. Some things bother me, and what bothers me is any kind of hypocrisy. Yeah. 
or or fake fake people mm. um, who um, you know like well, in the in industry I think this is I think that's why interiors can be so I think this is why you're so refreshing I, I find because you don't take yourself so seriously and it isn't fake and I think because so many people come across so many people who do have that tendency in the interiors world because you know people you know historically interiors it's not that old uh, profession it's quite young isn't it and so people were testing and they didn't know how to make things work and so a lot of them were just winging it and hoping that it would just go okay some people were a success and some people really struggled and then be like managed to get somewhere and because of that they're a little bit bitter and twisted and they're not going to reveal any secrets because their secrets are pretty like dodgy they, they you know they didn't do things particularly well <laughs> because they were just it was trial trial and error you know so oh there's um you know certification and licensing and all this kind of stuff it, um again <laughs> it does not necessarily mean that that person is the designer i know they know the codes fine that's good you can look them up too well exactly um, i know it's not that hard no it's, it's i mean you don't have to remember it right it's like the whole point is that the information is there for you to I find mean, you know asid designers are like it's shocking mm. it, it's so bad that it's you know like curtains that are eight inches off the floor and, and this yeah. is on their portfolio like okay yeah um, so just because you've got a title doesn't mean anything colors yeah. that clash horribly and are ugly together you know and so the balance is way off it just uh, the furniture is weird and poorly scaled it just goes on and on exactly. so and then uh, th there are millions of people well, maybe not millions but who've never taken a course there are well, many famous designers who who are self-taught and yeah. i mean they well, list designers they're in architectural digest top 100. Exactly. And one of my favorite i don't yeah. know if you know her is a, a lady called Sophie Patterson she's um I'm, I also found girl of, about Sophie but um same thing she's a self-taught designer um and something she said recently in one of her YouTube videos was that you're only as good as your last project and I think that is so much more important than carrying a title or having a stamp that says that I'm an interior designer I think that that is really quite gracious I think because having a look at the work you're currently doing or what you've been doing in the past and assessing it and and being proud of that and putting that into the world and then having people obviously assess that themselves because our, what we do is art as well it's our own art that yeah, as people can criticize and you know put it out there and you know some people like it some people don't and that's totally okay that's that's art but um uh i think what's really beautiful is just that idea that you're only as good as your last project and i think I, and i do like that that um it's got nothing to do with a piece of paper or a course or anything like well, that i was going to say one, one of the biggest uh problems i see with some designers is their online portfolio you shouldn't put any of your duds <gasps> on there this is you know what this is my thing start, uh, start. it's better not to show anything than yeah. something bad it's just it's it's the photography is horrifyingly bad yeah. you don't need to hire a professional photographer you can it's very my friend linda holt h-o-l-t linda woman on face of the earth uh has a little course about how to photograph interiors Ooh. i've told her to make it everything and then you know because not all of my readers are in, in the profession that's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, but I highly recommend it, you know, because you don't have to spend, you know, five or $10,000 hiring a professional photographer. It's, it's not difficult. It's actually 95% of it is in the editing of the photo. Yeah, you can exactly. correct, correct a lot of errors, but you know, you need nice, clear, bright images 
that are well composed and styled. I find composition is actually a lot harder than, I mean, this is why people test. I think, um, one of, again, one of my other favorite interior designers, Kelly Hoppen, another self-taught interior designer, actually. She, I mean, I, I remember doing a course by her and all she did was test, 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 test. And I think that again, is just key. Like same with the photograph. I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I would never say I'm an excellent photographer. I really am not. But if you really just practice and test and test and edit and it really like, yeah, just a little bit of effort goes a long way, doesn't it? Sometimes people say, well, you can't take your own photos. Like, well, why not? Yeah. I mean, I follow um, at the beginning. I think it's cool. Russian ballerina. Well, she also plays the piano. You know, <laughs> yeah. More than one skill set. Okay, yeah. it is possible. Um, it takes practice. Yeah. And um, and if you're a good designer, you know, formatting. You know, there's the rule of thirds. That's always a safe one. The one section. Mm -hmm. Usually, yeah, and and um, it, yeah, it's not. But Linda's course teaches some basic, fundamental, uh, very helpful uh, ideas, and I don't think it's expensive at all. Um, so I'm I'm, no, she's on my list now, Linda Holt. I'm going to um... lives is in a suburb of Boston. We don't get together that much. We've gotten together only a couple times. Oh, I love it. That she's just delightful and um and really smart and has a, a lovely instagram feed too also with a lot of helpful information all right i'm a, I'm a sold so laurel the yes. big question what would you do if you were going to start again now so in today's world obviously 10 years ago google was different facebook was different in instagram didn't even exist i think oh it just existed but tell me what would you do how would you what would you do differently? I'm like the juicy bit. I would have married a rich man. <laughs> oh gosh. I was like, I was going to say me too, but I'm still married. <laughs> yeah. Well, even if it doesn't work out, actually, if he was, if he had been wealthy, I would still be married to him. <laughs> he wasn't, uh, he wasn't uh, like abuse. Well, he wasn't in, how should I say, uh, mean to me, really, other things. But um, so I, uh, I would have looked the other way. <laughs> um, stay married. But it's fine. So do you think, um, I mean, there are obviously a lot of changes in today's world when with study business, being an interior designer, blogging, and all of those wonderful things, even social media. Mm -hmm. I think, do you, do you really think that um, it's harder now or do you think it's easier now? To be a blogger or interior designer, you know, really depends what your goal is. If your goal mm -hmm. is to get business, no, it's not hard to like really rock your local market, even if you're, a large city. I mean, it's harder, of course. There's much more competition. If you're in a small place or medium, you can totally be number one if you put mm -hmm. in the right keywords. It, you need a blog or else a YouTube channel mm -hmm. um, or both. Um, but even if it's once a month and you are writing about the this is my really best tip is to use the word best when you google what do you what do you do you put in best sofa best chair best interior designer best it should be on your home page the word best oh my gosh you know what this is something i didn't know but can i just say searching all of the things for like my my two-year-old everything that i click on is best toddler video <laughs> learning videos oh, best toddler you're yeah. right yeah best and you know i you know one of my five right. guys uh -huh. is a blogging guy it's really a website i mean it's for anybody who has a website um i, I mean it's i think it's currently 179 dollars i mean it's nothing i think it's down hmm. there it's just everything that i learned the first five years that 
propelled me to a level I never dreamt was even possible. I, I was always other people who did stuff like that. I was always, I always felt like anyway, kind of the dunce in the room, just kind of, uh, kind of mediocre, kind of, you know, not quite there. <laughs> and um, so um, in that, in my blogging guide, you know, I spell out what people need to do to rock that local traffic. Exactly. And it's really not a lot. You know, even if you blog once a month and you blog about what, you know, if you're looking for customers, you know, you write about what the best interior designer does. What, what is your favorite sofa? just you have to rock those keywords and you can make pages that you're not even sharing there they live on the internet I, this is something i didn't like you know about the other towns in your county and stuff like that they're just a little not after do you see do you see tired mm -hmm. anyone but what I was going to say is there are people who bought my guide and I see them, I'll Google a search term. We'll say which one. Yeah. And there they are, way above me. <laughs> like And there are people who have just bought your your blogging thing. Okay, I'm getting it. They, they, they have, you know, and then I go, Well, how dare they? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, right. Then I'm in competition. Then, then I go, okay, well, we gotta change something here. <laughs> Um, so one thing that was hurting me is, um, I think it's the default for WordPress, but I didn't know when I, you know, make a post, it creates a URL for you and the date was in the URL. Ugh, it's a problem. It was a problem and it was a problem getting rid of them. Yeah, I have it is a problem getting rid of it because that was one of the issues I had on one of my, like my old blog. It's thousands of page I mean it's tens of thousands of pages because every photograph has its own page no, it's WordPress has... is really bad like that considering it was for it was designed for blogging wasn't yeah. it yeah so but we did I should say we he and his developer figured out how to do it so that everything would be okay it was completely seamless. He made the switch at, you know, an odd hour. He lives out west, so that helped too. Um, and I woke up the next day and they were all gone. And, and it, it, I don't know for sure if it helped, but I think it has helped. Uh, something has been working and it's I think a combination of factors but it it certainly makes it easier for me to update posts um, the only thing is the comments are still there unless I delete them and if they're good I'll leave them if they're worthwhile um, yeah I love reading the comments actually uh, what I love about your book is, is I'm always astounded how many people actually take the time to comment i think your readers really love you and that, that's really cool it's testament to your blog uh, um but they'll say why is there why is there a comment from 2019 and like well okay but when i update the post i don't just republish it i i could but i don't mm. in fact sometimes updating it is uh it, it, it's more work than starting from scratch. I don't know. That's something I've been doing recently is going through old blog posts that I want to revamp because obviously we also know that that's good for Google, but it, it's sometimes it's just easier to start again because there's just too much to get the keywords in there because obviously when I first started writing, I didn't really understand keywords and um, <laughs> keywords or, and all of this lovely stuff that um, helps you get found by Google. But um, it was one of those things that, happened once I learned and then it really was quite frustrating like years later looking back going oh what a wasted opportunity and then um just some blog posts are really just they're never found but it's fantastic content it's just not written for yeah, being found. I, I have blog posts that I can't update they're very specific like to a person or an event or something mm -hmm. 
Um, my developer doesn't like me to get rid of anything, uh, so they're just sitting there. But um, then I've read from people, Neil Patel, if you don't know that. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm on his mailing list, obviously. I've been on with Neil Patel at the before the pandemic hit. I really got in there. And he is exactly like he is on his videos. He's the most delightful young man you ever hope to meet. And like, total genius. Wow. Um, That's so cool. It was really cool. I, you know, I paid five thousand dollars, which actually, in the scheme of things, for the seminar, I thought there'd be like, you know, a hundred people there. No, there weren't a hundred people there. There were five people there, five. And you know what? It it was an experiment that they were trying, and it didn't How work. Did you the Neil Patel, and you were they like gave, one of five. They gave, five That's they gave me my money back. I'm like, oh, okay, you don't have to give it all back, but <laughs> okay, fine, I'll take it. Um, but, um, no, um, it was great. It was a, a week long seminar, like, or maybe it was four days in, in, um, San Diego. Can I just say, if anyone hasn't got your blog, your three, what, your, what's it called? The, uh, six figure income blogger. That's the name of it. it I should have named it something else. Like, I'm like, just, oh my gosh this is nuts because if it, you're like you've got neil patel five days of neil patel in there plus what is it like over 10 years of blogging experience this is just nuts yeah like, wow yeah, yeah. Like, i can't wait to read it now i'm like <laughs> let's finish so i can go like read it <laughs> yeah. it's it's i do i have i do update it periodically uh laurels <laughs> rolodex which is a shopping guide that gets updated free lifetime updates <sighs> um for that one um every November, last year was november 30th like okay gotta finish those um um so i take i have somebody helping me edit it because it's huge yeah. uh, and so we get rid of like all the companies that no longer exist they're going to be a bunch this year i'm afraid mm -hmm. um a lot of times then they merge and so we have that in there and then there are always some new ones new companies that i find that i think are good to know and that um i have um this best this is a smaller guide but this best of etsy yeah and i try okay, if I, right, so you know i do read the reviews sometimes and i read i realize it's just recently it is possible to do fake reviews on Etsy, which disturbs me a lot. Oh, I didn't you, know that. Yeah. You can get a, a, a place with, oh, I shouldn't even say this. No, I don't want to say oh, this. Spill the beans. I, it took, so I had, you know, every once in a while you get a client who's really like, are you kidding? And like they're complaining because then they're very entitled people. Um, you know, I worked my bones off, and uh, I wanted them to fire me. Okay, yeah, <laughs> fire me. I was going to ask because we are getting close to time. Um, I was wondering if you could tell us what is if anyone was going to take the leap and change, either change careers into blogging or taking um, into interiors or just do something different. What's the one bit of advice with, that you'd give them? Oh. Besides, by so, uh, your I knew I was ready in, in 2015. My email list was growing very rapidly. I had at that point six or seven thousand subscribers, but it was growing by six or seven, eight hundred a month um, at that point, mm. <laughs> sometimes more. And I developed my first guide, Laurel's Rolodex. That's what I have, yeah, I love it. Yeah. And I, I got that idea because I read somewhere a few years earlier that who wouldn't want to have access to an interior designer's Rolodex? Yeah, uh, the black book. That's all about our black book, isn't it? And mm -hmm. also I realized, and it took me years being in the business to realize how many companies I could get stuff with direct i didn't have to go to a showroom of course not all there are many companies that like baker for instance or lee industries you will never be able to buy direct from them unless they change their business model which yeah. doesn't look like seven but yes some companies you can't but many you can 
and i would say pretty much everything that's sold on wayfair you can open that you don't have to get your 20 percent discount from wayfair you can get a much better discount opening up your own account so uh, the only advantage to using that middle person like wayfair is that they're handling all the delivery and yeah i have to admit that is one thing that i do use wayfair for, wayfair for. fine it depends also mm -hmm. on busy you are if you're if you have a lot of jobs going on you don't have you know that is will be a big time saver so that might be worth it to some people to open up those accounts mm. and also like smaller type of jobs because i think the quality of the furniture on wayfair isn't i mean it's not um it's not high-end or luxury is it it's... some of it is you know there's um Perigold. I always want to say Polybore. That was Perigold. Polybore is the company for uh, it's kitchens. Way, it's Wayfair still. It's There's a tremendous amount of overlap. It's supposed to be the high-end version of Wayfair. But oh. they've become oh. There are some brands that are not on Wayfair. A few. Most of them are. Sometimes, in fact, sometimes Wayfair has larger, more products shown than Perigold. Oh. I really understand. Um, they look kind of, it's hard to tell when you're on who's what. It doesn't look more luxurious, I don't think. No, I don't think it does. Branding-wise, no, definitely not. Yeah, yeah, no. They need to um, do a better job. <laughs> yeah, so you need to have a good size following. I, mm. And you need to have a product that people will buy. Well, mm -hmm. I didn't know. I, I did a survey. I had an idea that I really, you know, I, I don't. The first two days, I made thirteen thousand dollars. I don't make thirteen thousand. I don't make six thousand dollars a day. I don't make anywhere near that. <laughs> Nothing near that. But that was just then when it launched. Wow. Um, and then I went. Hmm, I think this might work. Yeah, well done. Wow. I was not. I'm. I'm not. I. I'm not a good business person. I never charged enough. I. I did every. I. I, mean, I needed to take your course because I. I. <laughs> I, well, I don't know. I was always just afraid of charging too much or, you know, double, double dipping, which really isn't double dipping. It's, um, it's, you could have, you could have called it your blogging thing, uh, your, um, uh, guide, your blogging guide, the lazy, the lazy hundred, what is it? The lazy six figure blogger guide. <laughs> yeah. Although I'll be really honest. It's a tremendous amount of work. Mm -hmm. it, it is. Um, if I could do things differently, I would have more help. Oh, okay. I, have I think that's a good part time virtual assistant, roughly maybe 15 hours a week. I could use three of her easily. Yeah. I could, or more. Because um, so some things just don't get done that would be helpful. Like, it's like with any business though there's always there's always a long list of things that we wish could get done but i don't think in reality you know we also have a life and yeah that's we could get them done strike that balance yeah that it's a choice right we could get it done and then we could also have a barbecue with our friends and actually have a life yeah uh yeah <laughs> no no you have to turn up burnout is a very mm -hmm. real thing it is and i have to be of it people are constantly writing me for advice well what would you do i have this color cabinet and this like in that should I put the bottom cabinet the contrasting color I'm like hell if i know <laughs> i can't now ask how <laughs> yeah, i can't see what you're talking about and oh i'll send you pictures no no please um unless you want me to put it on the blog <laughs> yeah exactly yeah and i think i think that's fair because I get a lot of obviously personal DMs with uh, people asking advice and in the same way I'll say well if you're not one of my students that currently get personalized help on my platform um, please ask the question publicly so that your question helps other people but also is a benefit to me rather than just secretly writing and wasting a lot of my time behind the scenes helping people and giving answers and yeah I have to be accessible because of my digital products mm -hmm. that I sell people are still at very levels of technical ability and they just like I tried downloading to my phone 
and it won't, you know, and I've run out of chances to download. You can't just download to your phone. It's not a computer. Yeah. Um, you have to use an app, you know, for your phone. And just like we are right now on an app. Um, it, it seems like phones are computers, but they're really not. They're phone, you know, it's amazing what they can do. Absolutely. So Laurel, to finish up, I just want to say the biggest, biggest thank you. Oh, honestly, I, I, I'm still like unbelievably like <laughs> blown away that you would even show up and like talk to me <laughs> and like spill all the beans and yeah, just be so open with us. So I'm so grateful. Um, and um, for anyone who hasn't seen Laurel's blog, it's Laurel burn interiors.com it's laurel home blog um she's got the low the roller decks you've got the home paint color two-part guide you've got the six-figure income blogger 333 decorating rules and tips you need to know so these are the two that i'm getting i can't wait i, I, I don't think i can wait till christmas so I will. and then there's a the new etsy guide you have so much content there for people i think it's just unbelievable um it's Definitely, yeah. If if you haven't seen what uh, Laurel is does or has been up to, definitely check her out. Give her a follow. And um, I was going to see if anyone had any questions here, but I'd, I I suppose we didn't really open it up for questions. So um, there were a few comments. Brettel, Brettley, Brettley, Brettley MK Design, MK Kill Design. He said that's exactly what. I to younger business owners find the balance oh thank you thanks brett um i saw a few other comments up here earlier but i don't think there were any questions but only good. <laughs> i think monica wrote something earlier thank you so much monica I, I really appreciate all of your comments it's really really kind of you but yeah thank you so much everyone for showing up and for being here and um thank you laurel for just being so amazing and so natural and chilled out and oh. just cool. we're obsessed obviously and hopefully we can do it again another time that would be really cool yeah you're delightful and um, i'm glad we reconnected i just want to say joe had written me when i was coming to england several years ago <laughs> I was like, come have coffee with me. Yeah. Um, yeah. I I, you was like, you're already like taken away with everyone else taking you coffee. Um, I, was like, I was just like, come with your partner. I, I, like, what partner? <laughs> Do you know? Um, but whatever. So um, I had, because I hear from a lot of people, I have bad memory for names, but I came across you by accident on Instagram what, a couple months ago. And it's, it's hilarious. Um, I caught the attention of Laurel Byrne, like seriously. <laughs> oh, of course you did. I mean, oh, I, I, I was just, I, I sat down like I had you know, Asperger's. I probably do. Um, I watched each one. I, I don't, I can't even say how many times. Oh, that's too funny. They're just, I just love that you get my sense of humor. I'm like, of course I do. No, it's very and the, the the reason they're funny, I take my glasses off because I can't stand looking at myself. Um, the reason they're so funny is because they are only slight exaggerations of the truth. There are people, oh, I'm the interior designer. Like, oh, it's a whole gut, to it, you know, and she's not listening to this woman. And and you got the client, too. Yeah. The, the rich, exactly. rich boy client who doesn't is so crazy busy doesn't work and has two children you know <laughs> yeah and she's like she can obviously work seven days a week and seven nights a week because that's what's required in the industry which is just insane. oh i love that mm. i love that beneficial hours are i have them all memorized okay <laughs> uh, uh, well the thing is it's a bit I have, uh, seven days a week <laughs> Well, ironically, you've also had, uh, before we go, do you want to share one of your experiences? Oh, um, in terms of what? Of um, like any bad experiences that you've had um, in an interior design office. Just before we go, just and one little, let's finish uh, off with, well, a, with a bad I experience. I have a piece of advice and it was given to me when I was in design school. Oh, yes, we can have this. Yeah, you have any inkling any intuition, any slight intuition that this person is going to be a problem, do not take the job. And 
I don't take it. Do not take it because this is as good as it's going to get. Okay, it will get worse. And they really advice you for lunch. Okay, now it only happened to me once in all those years. But, but it took me, I almost quit the business. It was a uh, professional litigator in Manhattan. A, a professional litigator, she made. She, and I'm, I'm a people pleaser, so you know, like, can you come on Sunday? Oh, well, Saturday would be better for me. Um, I'm, I'm so relate to your. Oh, I can't do Saturday. I'll come Saturday, like for pillows, like ten times. Mm. Oh, I used to be up on Sunday nights WhatsApping clients. I was like, I think back now, and I'm like, was I insane? <laughs> like, who does that? But I was, you know, I was just so happy to have clients i was anything anything that they wanted i would do it's just nuts oh, but, mm. yeah and i would be you know oh you can and they were hell clients hell cost it's so expensive oh it's just pillow but sometimes they did appreciate if they were really good client they appreciated me throwing something in as a gift that's that's a little different but mm. uh, it, it's it's a wonderful business it is. Um, mm. and um uh, I love what you're doing too, and I think I, I wrote on my today's blog. I'm that, forever and, grateful. Oh my gosh, talking about like obviously backlinks and anything. Like I was just like, hail, hail, Laurel. <laughs> like, oh, <sorry. laughs> thank no, you. No, but it's really true. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah. No, no, I forgot what I was going to say, but oh, sorry. Um, oh no, 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 it's not your fault it's just my my brain is like so there's so much in it <laughs> <laughs> but that's the beauty that's why we love you okay I'll, we'll call it a day because we have gone it slightly over time and i know everyone is very very like to get set oh, oh, we've had active at least i think it was like 20 30 35 40 people the whole time so to keep pip's attention for so long i think it's been really like generous with your time and generous of their time so thank you laurel um i will post on here if anyone needs the link to laurel's like straight to laurel's i'll post it um onto my stories now um and i'll make a post on my instagram and i'll post this video to instagram as well as to youtube um so if you want to watch the replay it'll be there for you and thank you laurel i'm just still thank flabbergasted but yeah but this has been so fantastic and i hope to see you again very soon yeah yeah you will well, see me online for sure okay well i'll see your email tomorrow <laughs> okay bye bye yeah. i actually don't know how to turn this off so i'm just um uh, please do bear with me oh i sure you want to end your live video okay thank you so much bye bye